Because of that, many women suffer in real life with cervical cancers and they will come to the hospital only in the fourth stage. When a woman dies in the hospital, it is counted as plus one. But for the family, a mother is lost forever. Maybe a man can get another wife, but children will never get another mother. Each life lost to cervical cancer represents a mother, a daughter or a sister, a loss that reverberates through families and communities. Sudha Murthy's words in her speech at Rajya Sabha reminds us of the human cost behind the statistics. With this, she shed light on a critical health issue that affects millions of Indian women, cervical cancer. Sudha Murthy, drawing from her extensive experience working with the poor, highlighted how women often neglect their health while taking care of their families. She emphasized that many women suffer from cervical cancer, often only seeking medical attention when the disease has reached advanced stages. These losses are particularly tragic because cervical cancer is largely preventable with proper screening and vaccination. Cervical cancer affects the cervix, which is the lower part of the uterus connecting to the vagina. It's primarily caused by persistent infection with certain types of human papillomavirus or HPV. HPV is a common virus transmitted through sexual contact. While the body's immune system usually clears the infection naturally within two years, in some cases, the virus lingers and can turn normal cells into abnormal cells and eventually cancer. It's important to note here that not all HPV infections lead to cancer. Recent research published by the National Cancer Institute has identified over 100 types of HPV, but only about 14 are considered high risk for causing cancer. Type 16 and 18 are the most notorious, responsible for about 70% of cervical cancer cases worldwide. Now, let's focus on India, where cervical cancer poses a significant public health challenge. It's the fourth most common cancer among women globally and the second most frequent cancer affecting women in India. The statistics are alarming as India accounts for about one-fifth of the global burden of cervical cancer with approximately 1.23 lakh new cases diagnosed annually and around 67,000 women dying from the disease each year. This translates to one woman dying of cervical cancer every eight minutes in the country. To put this in perspective, imagine losing the entire population of a small town to a single disease every year. That's the scale of the cervical cancer crisis in India. But why is this disease so preventable, still claiming so many lives in India? Despite its prevalence, awareness about cervical cancer remains shockingly low in India. Dr. Smita Joshi, leading the charge in HPV vaccine research, noted that less than 10% of Indian women get screened for cervical cancer. This lack of awareness contributes to late detection, making cervical cancer a silent killer. Many women only discover they have the disease in its advanced stages when treatment options are limited and less effective. The awareness gap is particularly pronounced in rural areas and among lower socio-economic groups, where access to health information and services is limited. A 2022 study published in the Asian Pacific Journal of Cancer Prevention highlighted that the primary obstacle to HPV vaccination in India is financial, which also hinders the progress of screening for cervical cancer. Let's ask ourselves, when was the last time you or a woman you know got screened for cervical cancer? This implies that regular screenings through pap smear tests and HPV tests can catch abnormal cells early before they turn cancerous. The pap smear test around since the 1940s has significantly reduced cervical cancer rates in countries where it's widely used. HPV testing is a newer method that can detect the presence of high-risk HPV types before any cellular changes occur. But the real game-changer in this case is the vaccination. Sudha Murthy's impassioned plea in the Rajya Sabha echoed the advice of health experts worldwide. Vaccinate girls between the ages of 9 and 14 against HPV. But in a country where healthcare costs are a significant barrier, how do we make this life-saving vaccine accessible to all? The answer is Cervivac, India's first indigenously developed HPV vaccine. Announced on September 1, 2023 by Dr. Jitendra Singh, this breakthrough marks a turning point in India's fight against cervical cancer. 
This vaccine is developed by the Serum Institute of India in collaboration with the Department of Biotechnology. But what makes this vaccine so special? The project began in 2011, taking over a decade of research and clinical trials. The vaccine uses virus-like particle or VLP technology and targets four HPV strains, 6, 11, 16 and 18, which are responsible for approximately 90% of cervical cancer cases. Cervavac is indicated for use in girls and women aged 9 through 26 years for the prevention of cervical, vulvar, vaginal and anal cancers caused by HPV type 16 and 18, as well as genital warts caused by HPV type 6 and 11. For boys and men aged 9 through 26 years, it is indicated for the prevention of anal cancer caused by HPV type 16 and 18 and genital warts caused by HPV type 6 and 11. VLP technology is innovative because it uses proteins that mimic the structure of the HPV virus without containing any viral genetic material. This makes the vaccine highly effective at stimulating an immune response without any risk of causing infection. Clinical trials involving 2,000 participants showed a robust immune response with antibody levels nearly 1,000 times higher than baseline against all targeted HPV types. One of the most significant aspects of Cervavac is its affordability. It's expected to cost between 200 to 400 rupees per dose, significantly cheaper than existing foreign-made vaccines that cost 2,000 to 3,500 rupees per dose. This dramatic cost reduction could be a game changer for vaccine accessibility in India and potentially other developing countries. But can affordability alone solve India's cervical cancer crisis? Despite this breakthrough, significant challenges remain in the fight against cervical cancer in India. These include raising awareness about the disease and its prevention and building infrastructure for widespread vaccination. In addition, overcoming cultural barriers around discussing reproductive health and ensuring vaccine access remains a critical challenge, particularly in the rural and underserved regions of India. Another societal challenge is convincing parents to vaccinate their young daughters against a sexually transmitted infection, which can be a sensitive topic in many communities. A 2023 study in the Indian Journal of Medical Research highlighted the need for culturally sensitive education programs to address misconceptions about the HPV vaccine. To address these challenges and maximize the impact of the new vaccine, the Indian government announced in the 2024 interim budget that girls aged 9 to 14 years will be given free HPV vaccination. This decision coming shortly after Cervavax development demonstrates a commitment to tackling cervical cancer at a national level. Moreover, the National Technical Advisory Group on Immunization has recommended the introduction of the HPV vaccine in the Universal Immunization Program with a one-time catch-up for 9 to 14-year-old adolescent girls followed by routine introduction at 9 years. Moreover, medical experts suggest a multi-pronged approach, school-based vaccination programs, public-private partnerships for distribution and integrating cervical cancer prevention into broader women's health initiatives. The success of India's COVID-19 vaccination drive offers valuable lessons. Could we apply similar strategies like mobile vaccination units and community engagement to HPV vaccination? But perhaps the most powerful tool in this fight is you. Your voice, your awareness and your actions can make a difference. With increased awareness, widespread vaccination and regular screening, we have the tools to significantly reduce the burden of this disease. The development of Cervavac and the government's commitment to free vaccination marks a turning point in this battle. But remember, the most powerful weapon in this fight is knowledge and action. Together, we can create a future where no woman in India dies from a preventable cancer. The power to save life is in our hands. Let's use it.